Alright, call law. Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem, Kakadash, Brakata, Wa Brakatam to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone who well. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Akwathim who are listening as well. This is Province in Babylon. My name is Brother Daniela, and by my side, Brother Amawan. All right, and we want to grab it out, uh, um, and we want to grab an article. Okay, uh, it says Sprinter Johan Blake says he would rather miss Olympics than get uh, than get crowned royal. Jab. Okay. You know, so we're gonna read on down to the article. So Olympic champion Sprinter Johan Blake of Jamaica said he would rather miss the Tokyo Games than get the crown royal jab. Although getting uh, the jab will not be required of the athletes competing there this summer. All right, and this is what he said. My mind still stays strong. I don't want any jab. I'd rather miss the Olympics than take the jab. I'm not taking it. He was quoted as saying in Jamaican newspaper, The Gleaner. Okay, so... You know, this class is going in into integrity. You know, I came across this article um, in one of the social media sites that the brother posted. Okay, you know, one of the brothers uh, um, uh, in the camp. So this sprinter, this uh, Olympic runner, I'm gonna go into his uh, his information. So apparently he's from the tribe of Benjamin, Benjamin. All right, Johan Blake is a Jamaican sprinter of the 100 meter and 200 meter sprint races. He won gold at the 100 meter in 2011 World Championship. So pretty much, he was one of the youngest to run the 100 millimeter and became the champion in the past. And uh, and there's an Olympics about to uh, be manifested in the future. He doesn't want to participate in it because sooner or later they're going to um, mandate that crown royal, and he doesn't want to be in that predicament. So he's avoiding the Olympics to. Um, so he won't take that crown royal, which which is which goes into integrity, all right? Uh -huh. This brother's going, um, this brother's holding his integrity, all right? We're about to enter into some times that you must hold your integrity because this devil, you know what I'm saying? The so-called white man Esau Edom is going to push this agenda all over the world, all right? And and uh, and brother Armand got the definition of integrity. Bring it uh, up. Uh, this is a. Uh the definition of integrity. Mm -hmm. All right. It says having strong moral principles, moral upright uprightness, the state of being whole or undivided. All right. And that's he's undivided, all right. So pretty much of how he felt about him being um, you know, strong in that and what he brought out, all right, when he, what he said. That's right. All right, because he's not, you know, changing his mind. He, he's staying strong within what he brought out. All right, and he has a, you know, that state of mind of of, of being whole. All right, and being strong in those things because, you know, you know, it's a, it's it's probably something that he had probably already, you know, seen, and you know, and made up his mind about it, and there's nothing that could change him. All right. Which is a beautiful thing, man, because you know he relates to going back into being a Jake, you know. Con. And Jake ain't, you know, Jake. Jake know what's going on, man. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Jake, who are not in the truth, they have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. Con. But but they are aware. You know what I'm saying? But they're not aware like the men of the Lord are. That's right. But they're, but they're still aware. They're not stupid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know the scripture says. You know, like the children, of, the children of Israel, are sottish. Yeah. But 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 within. You know, those who are within uh, the two thirds, some are aware of things. You know, all of them are not sottish. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, they have the zeal according to knowledge. But this is what the brother said. You know what I'm saying? And the water for bringing out that definition, brother. Con. Con. So, 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 Johan Blake said, um, "Quote: My mind still stays strong. I don't want any jab. I rather miss the uh, the Olympics than take the jab. I'm not taking it." All right. And then he says, I don't really want to get into it now, but I have my reasons. Con, you know what I'm saying? And we witnessed several, several, several videos of people receiving that crown royal. And, you know, bad things happen to him, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Some got sick, some got paralyzed, and even some died. All right? You know, all over social media and, and also on the news. You know what I'm saying? It would be absolutely, you know, idiotic to receive that. You know what I'm saying? After you just witness that. And there's some people who are absolutely um, insane and stupid, and they're still going to uh, take that, man. For example, I seen a recent video of IUIC, uh, like the congregation of IUIC, receiving those jabs, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's insane. Sooner or later, they're going to drop dead. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or sooner or later, man, they're going to get sick and bad things are going to start happening to them, man. You know? So... Those brothers are going to catch serious judgment very soon. You know what I'm saying? Done. And, uh, you know, I would like to add as well, uh, it was this Jake who had pretty much went and took this Crown Royal. And when he took it, you know, he was just, you know, pretty much saying, you know, I, you know, I, I didn't believe the hype of what everybody was saying. You know, oh, this, it does that. You know, it's not going to do nothing. And when he took it, you know, he showed a video pretty much of his feet being swollen up with pus. Ton. You know, and he was just pretty much letting people know, you know, that, hey, man, don't go take it, you know, because that jab man, has stuff in it that, you know, it's uh, that's not relating to uh, what they say is in it. You know, they have uh, numerous other things in it, man. You know, do your research. But, you know, more of the story, he, he took it and it wasn't what he thought it was. You know, right. And, you know. Just don't be ignorant to, uh, you know, Esau's devices, man. Call to one. You know, as the scripture says in Sirach chapter 15, verse 5, be not ignorant of things great or small. God. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, don't be ignorant of things great or small. If it's right in front of you, and it's shown right in front of you, and it shows and, um, and it shows you what will happen if you end up receiving that, you know what I'm saying, and you still go take it, that's on you, man. God. That's on you, and... You know, the men of the Lord, we will laugh at you. You know what I'm saying? We will laugh at you. You know, how does the Lord laugh? Through his prophets, man. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the prophets are the mouth of, uh, of the Lord. So if you end up taking that, you know, we're going to rejoice because we warned you not to take it. Mm-hmm. Okay? Continue on the article. It said, the brother said, follow your mind, don't follow the crowd. Okay? He said, follow your mind, don't follow the crowd. All right, don't be a sheeple, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't follow the world. As the scripture said, love not the world, neither are the things that are in the world. That's right. Because if you love the world, you're going to end up following the world. You know what I'm saying? The, the, deceived and the, the, the deceived and the deceiver are his. So a lot of people are going to be deceived, man. A lot of people think that this jab will save their life and help them continue life and thinking life will be back to normal. No, it's going to get worse. All right, you know, and uh, you know, and we're in Florida, man. And tomorrow, March third, March third will be the beginning of these sites, uh, four sites within Florida. You know what I'm saying? They're going to push, uh, push uh, those sites, and they're gonna uh, start uh, giving everybody uh, uh, the thing, man. That jab. That jab. They're gonna start two thousand, two thousand. Um, uh, jabs per per day, yep. each location. So I did the math, man. Two thousand jabs per day, thirty one days. You know what I'm saying? That's fifty eight thousand. So fifty eight thousand times uh times uh times four, which is four sites, and um uh, th- that'll be uh, over uh, a little over two hundred fifty thousand jabs per month. Mm-hmm. All right, and there's you know there's a lot of people in Florida, so. At per month is gonna be two hundred fifty thousand. So guess what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Let's get let's grab uh, Revelation chapter three verse ten. You know what I'm saying? It hits the same category as the mark of the beast. Okay, we're a step closer to the mark of the beast. It's coming very soon. Which is that RFID chip? Con, my oh yeah, con the um the RFID microchip. Yeah. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the worlds to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we're a step away to being closer to that time. And I believe before before Passover and, 
and no, before Passover is going to rise up. And after Passover, that's when stuff is going to get really crazy. Just like last year. After Passover, that's when uh, um, the, pandi uh, the, the so-called pandemic was released. You know what I'm saying? And it started hitting these regulations all over the, uh, all over the world, man. These lockdowns and, 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 and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, people started going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember last year, like, uh, you know, I was at a bread store and they had shortage of bread. And this one guy, he he snapped because he couldn't get um, more than two loaves of bread because it was, it was a shortage. So you so you had to get a, a, two loaves of bread and, and a few other things, you know. But this time, it, it might not be two loaves of bread. It might be one loaf of bread. And you know what I'm saying? And people are going to go off. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get worse out here, man. This the second lockdown might be the last lockdown. God. Okay. That's why uh, the importance of you know what the, the the topic is integrity, man. You know, holding your integrity because we're coming to some very grievous times where you know the love of many show white's cold. All right, you're gonna see loved ones turn against each other. You're gonna see a lot of people, you know, pretty much amping up and and, and you know. Letting their horns short show, you know, especially these damn devils, man. You saw eat them, those so called, those so called white men, right? That walks amongst you, all right. That integrity will you have to hold, man. You know, you finish with that. There you go, con, con, uh, con, uh, I was gonna move on after you're done, all right, con, con, you know, pretty much just, uh, you know, added on to what the brother had, you know, to say, you know, we just. You know, got to keep that integrity, man. You know, you can go ahead. Call the one. So I like to add that preset with the, uh, you know, um, like relating to, uh, like relating to integrity. So this is the book of First Maccabees, chapter two, verse sixty-four. Wherefore, ye, my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically, what this says, man. Wherefore, ye, my sons. Because we're his sons, the sons of God, all right? The sons of the Most High, sons of Yahweh. That's right. You know? Be valiant, meaning be courageous, all right? Be brave, all right? Be brave. Hold your integrity, okay? And show yourselves men in, in the behalf of the law. So we have to be men. We must gird up our loins, you know? Uh, uh, the book of Job. Like, gird up your loins, you know? Right. For by it shall ye obtain glory. Now, as the scripture says, you know, uh, humble yourselves, you know, like, like humble yourselves and, uh, and the Lord will exalt you in due time. That glory. And also, John, uh, Proverbs, Salakia, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, uh, 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 the fear of the Lord is, uh, is wisdom and instruction before honor is humility. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to be humbled at a very low state. But at the end, we will be honored by Yahweh Shemal Shai. God. All right? We're going to obtain that glory in the end, that big W. God, that's why it's, uh, you know, I add on to it. That's why I said in the scripture, um, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it says before, before honor is humility. Come on. We have to, uh, you know, feel that humility before we get that honor. Because that honor is way more greater, uh, you know, than, than that humility. You know what I'm saying? That humility is to keep us humble, all right? Because when that honor comes in and play, you know, hey, man, it's not going to be anything to top it. You know, and that's what we give all glory and all the praises to Yahweh Bashmael Shai. Call out Yahweh Bashmael Shai. You got any more precepts? I was going to end it with this. Oh, Kanye, yeah, I got, yeah, I got a precept. Uh, you know, like the brother mentioned uh, in uh, Job. There you go, 13. Yeah, Kanye, there you go. Kanye, Kanye. Call out your blessing, my shot. Yeah, because Job, uh, pretty much, you know, Job caught, caught some hell, man. He caught not just some hell, he caught a lot of hell. That's right. All right, he got everything pretty much taken away from him. Um, you know, he lost, he lost, you know, kids. He lost his place. You know, he lost, you know, his wife. He he lost his cattle. You know, everything. Everything. You know, Job, Job lost everything to the T. That's right, and. Um, you know, in the in the book of Job, chapter thirteen, verse fifteen, he mm -hmm. said, "Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. 
but I will maintain my own ways before him. That's right. You know, even though the Lord put Job through that hell and the situations he was going through, you know, Job trusted in the Lord, man. All right. He, he, he kept that integrity. All right. He kept that that uh, uh, that stronghold, man. But then he hopped by Shemar Shai, knowing that even though he that uh, seriousness that he was going through, the pain, the affliction, the infirmity, you know what I'm saying, the inflammation, I mean, uh, you know, even though he was catching all these things, he still stayed strong. You know? And uh, I got a like, uh, precept like unto it. Uh, one of my favorite, you know, precepts, man. I already know, I already know. Yeah, I already yeah. know. Okay. Isaiah 26. Yes, ah! <laughs> oh, praise God. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 and 4. It says, Though, it says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth, trusteth in thee, Con. which the Lord will do, man. The Lord will keep us in perfect peace within our situations, no matter what it is, you know, as long as we stay focused on him, all right? And that's our main objective. That's our main goal, you know, to stay focused on the fear of the Lord and stay focused on, you know, uh, growing, man, all right? Because as long as we give our hearts in to him, you know, which was meant, uh, which is, you know, first the first commandment, you know, giving our heart and our soul and our spirit to the Lord, man. All right, y'all watch my shot. You know, he, he got us, man. All right, roughly paraphrasing. But uh, verse 4, it says, Trust ye in the Lord, y'all watch my shot forever. All right, not a little while, not a long time. Not, it says, not sometimes. Not sometimes. Come. But forever, okay? Forever. Meaning unto death, man. All Come. Right? To sum it up. For in in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is ever everlasting strength. So in the hell that we catch, you know what I'm saying, the Lord will give us the strength to get through those things. All right? He will give us the strength to endure. He'll give us the strength to overcome. And he'll give us the strength to, to stay strong in it. That's right. And all right, in, in, in any, you know, uh, uh, whatever situation it comes down, man, whatever uh, hell that we catch, man. Kind of one. So back to that Job, chapter 13, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. All right? That's right. The Lord is going to put us through that hell, man. All right? Yes, yes he will. He's going to put us through that hell, that, that adversity. All right? He's going to put us through that adversity, man, that, that furnace of uh, 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 fire, man. All right? He's going to put us through that, that, that fire, and he's going to purify us. We have to remember that he's purifying us. You know, to be unlike it to our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. To be perfect, man. All right. <clears throat> but I will maintain my own ways before him. So, you know, main objective is keeping that in integrity when the Lord is, you know, putting us through that hell, man. You know, keeping that integrity and staying strong no matter what. All right. We apply these things to our, our walk and the Lord will, you know, bless us, man. All right. So, Lord's willing to be edifying to you. Got anything you want to add? No, that's it. Um, uh, oh, yeah. I want to bring something from the law, and we're going to end it to that. God. All right? So, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is from the law. We must keep the law, man, at the best of our ability. All right? The law is, it, it, is, is the milk. God. Okay, for as First Maccabees two sixty four, I'm gonna bring it out. Wherefore, wherefore, you, my sons, be the lion, and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. So you gotta show yourselves men before the law, before the Torah. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta make sure you keep in the law as well at the best of your ability. God, you should not. You can't make no cuttings in your flesh. All right, can't make no cuttings or print marks, and tattoos, cuttings, and doing all that foolishness, man, on your skin, and. And getting that jab, that thing, crown royal, mm -hmm. is a form of cutting your flesh. God, so yep. hold that integrity. Remember this precept. Hold that integrity, man. That's right. That's a that's a form of uh, piercing the skin. Con. And and those who are listening, if you do plasma and all that, you better stop right now. If you go to the plasma center and try to receive money, stop that. All right. That's a that that is equivalent. To uh, making cuttings to your flesh, 
So if you go to these plasma centers or giving blood, you, you stop that right now. Con. All right? Mm -hmm. That's Leviticus 19.28. But that's all for oh, now. Okay. You, you, you got something more? One more. One more. We'll close it out with this right here. Bring it out, King. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. It says, mm -hmm. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Mm -hmm. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, Yahweh Shai, thy power is with thee, with her. So ever thou goest, come. All right, the Lord's gonna be with us no matter what situation we're in. All right, when we are putting those tight snares, all right, and nets, the Lord's gonna be there. He's there with us, man. All right, and we have to uh, just remember these things and 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 try to uh, you know stay focused. All right, to the best of our abilities. All right, whatever whatever you might think. Whatever it is that you might, you know, oh man, just you know, stop worrying about it, man. Let just give it on to the Lord. All right. As I as he mentioned in um Psalms fifty five verse twenty two, all right, he said, uh uh cast thy cast thy burden upon the Lord, all right? Y'all by shot. Mm -hmm. All right, meaning the things that you, you feel. All right, whatever it is, man. All right, just pray to the Lord, man. Those that's the number one tool, praying. Come. You know, and um you know, as we, you know, bring this out to you, we take this in first and foremost. All right. So, Lord, will not this be edifying to you, brothers and sisters, that's, um, seeking out the Yahweh bunch of in these times. All right. Um, and with that, we're going to go ahead and say, uh, call the law. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim and Kakadash. Hey, Shalom to next time. Shalom.